Hi, I'm Greg Watson. It's the 10th of March 2014. We're here today at a lovely home at 6 Rata Street in Tokumaru. Just thought I'd pan around a little bit before we start just to show you it's a nice neighbourhood. Lovely, well looked after homes. And just at the end of the street here, you can turn right to the dairy and school and left to go towards Linton and Palmerston North City. Now this home is slightly out of context for the area because it was moved onto the site and therefore you will be getting the benefits of a beautiful character home in a location where the homes around were generally built more recently. You've got this nice patio in the front here which captures the sun magnificently well. You've got the beveled glass there on the door, which is typical of this type of home. Now just before we go much further, I'll just mention there's a lounge to the right, dining and kitchen through also to the right, and on the left are the bedrooms and bathroom. So the home's been beautifully restored. It's got this lovely Rimu timber throughout. There's a heater there, which is a radiant heater, which heats this lounge very, very well, I am told the lead light window there, a little bit hard to see because of the sheer sunniness of the day. But all in all a very comfortable room, you've got beautiful character features like this, this plaster work which is evident in most of the rooms. A couple of the rooms have the exposed beams which is also a nice feature. So coming back through the hallway here, you encounter the main bedroom. And something that's really interesting about this room is there is a massive amount of wardrobe space and that's actually slightly unusual for a home of this age. And again, lovely plaster ceilings. This room is a large room. Sometimes when they're empty they tend to look a bit smaller but you'd have no trouble getting plenty of furniture in there. And around the corner here, there's storage. And this home has got very good storage throughout. We'll just head up to the bathroom. Now this is, there are two bathrooms in this home, this is one of them. It's got the vanity toilet and clawfoot bath there. There is a shower unit but we'd probably ask that tenants don't use that um, as the water may spill over. There's another shower in the house. This room here is a very good size, again a double. It doesn't have a wardrobe but it's easy just to get a freestanding unit and this is one of the rooms with the exposed beams. You can also see the heat transfer vent and all the bedrooms have heat transfer from the main dining area. And then here is the third room. Again, very comfortable, good cupboard space. And the great thing with uh, these heat transfer units, it just keeps the home nice and cosy. And I'll tell you about the, the heating shortly. It really is something quite special. So we're now heading into the dining room, although well, you could use this as a second living without too much trouble, depending on your needs. You'll notice there's plenty of cupboard space there. You've got a nice uh, bench seat type window there as well. So I'll just try and get the camera to adjust a bit to show you that there's some very good storage in this room. So we'll head into the corner and just pop around just to give you a bit more of a feel of what this room's like. It really is just stunning and you've got this wonderful wood burner here which is joined to the hot water. And it's actually also got an oven on it and elements on top. So you can go a little bit off grid if you want to, doing your cooking through the fire there. Now have a look at this kitchen, I love it. It's just beautiful. It really is a lovely working space. You've got plenty of cupboard space there. There's a breakfast bar just on the other side of the counter. As well as that, you've got the more conventional oven here as well, which you can choose to use that or the, the wood-fired oven. So the breakfast bar is there just for casual dining or socialising. Loads of space. And there's a laundry just off this area here. And from that laundry we go into the bathroom. You've got a shower. This is the second bathroom of course. And it's got a shower dome over the top which actually cuts the uh, requirements for heating quite so much in the shower. And you come out through French doors from the kitchen to this lovely deck. What a great spot, it really is huge. And you're looking out over paddocks, um, there's a couple of horses there today. Very nice outlook. 
a real good feel there for the view as I move around. Now there is a double garage there and a utility room adjoining. Now I wanted to show you up on the roof here is the solar hot water unit. There's also a Sky TV dish. Now the solar hot water means you can effectively, you don't need a conventional hot water cylinder and that's great for energy and power saving. And the garage here can get two cars in there and the utility room beside. So I'll just talk a little bit more about the hot water for a minute. Uh, this means that it has constantly got the hot water at a great temperature for you. Tenants who live here will benefit from much lower power bills and that could be worth hundreds of dollars per year. That coupled with the wood burner as well which can heat the water. So thanks for watching. This is a lovely home and beautiful surroundings. We look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.